Okay, so let's connect all these little cables as uh, explained here. I finally connected the F panel reading these in the manual. Like if you you really follow these, uh, I was very, very lost. I'm, I'm glad I stopped and I look through this uh, over like you can always check on YouTube, uh, Google it, like to be completely sure. I wanted to hurry, but I want to be like sure that I'm doing the right thing here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to continue now that I have the F panel, I want to see what am I supposed to do with all of these cables. So this is the USB uh, 3 panel on, on the front. Again, looking at the manual, I could see where this guy goes, uh, but it doesn't say anything here about it. Like, it's, it's the only one that fits and makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do now. Yeah, that's nice. I have now this case with a lot of cables from the power supply. This cable is, for instance, for the motherboard. Oh, it's very helpful to have like light or something because it's so hard to see uh, with all these black uh, cases. Uh, power. So I don't know what goes down here, but I guess it will be harder to put now that I put this one. So yeah, this one goes up here. That's the ATX power. So now I have to put another one, the ATX 12. This is what confused me about this one. Uh, this is the CPU cable. Uh, so I was looking for ATX 12, something like that, but it seems that this is down here in this uh, power supply, it says uh, CPU. So that's the one I have to plug. Uh, so yeah, it's just taking taking it slow, like steady, uh, being sure that everything is okay. Okay. It's always checking both uh, manuals, power supply manual and the motherboard manual always side by side so you s can be sure that you're doing the right thing here. Yeah. When I connected this radiator I just put it there as best as I could but now I realize that I have to move this down so I can plug the CPU power supply there. Okay so all I'm doing now is moving the radiator from here at the top to the bottom so this way I'll have more space for the CPU uh, power supply cable as you can see now uh, the cable to the power supply uh, socket it's more easily accessible so the cable can can go through here and access that before I wasn't able to do that so yeah, I guess it's what it takes to build it yourself. We can connect this. So I'll continue with this uh, guy here. This is the best way I could find of how to uh, put this. I only put two screws because I'm still not sure about this. So it's tight enough. So. Connection. Put it down here and then this is the power for the SSD, but it doesn't seem to fit when I do this. So maybe it's upside down because I put it like that because I couldn't. Like this is stopping me. So maybe this goes the other way around. For now I could just put things. At least this way the cable is not around. Might not be the coolest way, but yeah. Now I just need to plug this one to the motherboard.
yeah this is how it looks connected it goes right here so this is the hard disk uh, we have a hard disk now I have to install this little guy here let's open it Good guys, nothing more. <laughs> Just a CD. Yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, looking good. Um, fan here. Oh, there's like a, a plastic. Yeah, looks nice. Um, yeah, let's connect it. Yeah, I see that the, the sports have like some kind of some kind of plug, HDMI, display port. By the look of this, I guess it has to go this way. Then we have these ports here and these ports there. Uh, so we'll have to figure out where to put this. So I guess this takes more than one of these, so I'll just take them out. It's Titan doesn't move. This cable goes to the power supply. The other one here goes to the to the graphic card. So let's do that. As soon as you have a lot of cables, it's getting complicated and more complicated to go get disconnected. So I'm passing them through here at the back, so it gets uh, things out of the way inside the inside the case. It goes right there, like this. Yeah, I have to tidy up uh, all the cables later, but for now I just want to make sure that everything works. And I also have this uh, guy here, um, that's the SLI cable uh, that goes in one of these. Now, I only have to uh, plug this and let's see if this works or not so obviously it doesn't have any operative system but i should see okay so this is the the moment of truth uh this has to work or crash i don't know let's see <laughs> current nothing explodes yet well let's see if the power button works Whew. amazing <laughs> all the fans spin the one on the power supply doesn't spin but that's how it works Okay, it should down, I don't know why. Still don't, I don't know if I'm in the correct place for the screen. Or, no, I'm HDMI. This is shooting down, I don't know what's going on. So now I'm the display part, so let's see if, I, if there's something coming up here. And it worked.
I still don't know what was going on with the shutdown and rebooting, but at some point I could like check the BIOS or check all the settings and the fans. Uh, so yeah, uh, next time I'm going to install the Wi-Fi and Mac OS X. So thanks for watching.